I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Cransmount here and I'm so, so happy. My boys, the Philadelphia Eagles were able to win for the first time against the Redskins in the last like five games. It's been crazy. Um, but uh, today's video is going to be the Madden 18 Team of the Week predictions for week one in the NFL. So uh, I need you guys. Um, if you guys like this series, you guys seem to like it uh, when I did it for last, the preseason, um, drop it down in the comment section down below uh, that you enjoy it and give me your predictions for this week. Who you guys think is going to get a Team of the Week card and also drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy this series and, and you want me to continue. It definitely uh, would be appreciated and I want to know if you guys are enjoying this or not. So. I'm not going to waste too much time. We're going to get right into it. Um, uh, so this week, uh, it's going to be similar. I'm going to be making some of these cards, uh, like custom cards. I'm going to be throwing, you know, you know, my guess in the overalls and that sort of thing. I haven't made them yet, but but I will make them before the video goes up. Uh, but I, I, I got a huge list. Like right here, it's not even that big. Like it's just a list right here. That is my prediction list. Um, and, and these are guys that I think possibly could get it. A lot of them, like I have three tight ends on the list. I don't think we're going to get three tight ends. I mostly have offensive players, to be honest with you. It's just easier to predict the offensive players, I think, than it is to um, predict the defensive players. Uh, but I did uh, go up here on ESPN just because I didn't, like, I didn't have a chance to watch all the games. Um, so I, I was looking at a lot of the defensive players, and, and I don't really... Uh, it's so tough to predict. Like, I, I really tried to come in here and, and give you guys, like, 26 players. I was going to try to predict every single position, but it's just not going to happen. Especially with offensive line, it's so hard to just tell who's going to get it. Uh, but I'm going to be able to give you guys some players who probably will get a, a new card. And that was another thing. I wanted to get players who didn't get a football outsider card or didn't get, you know, a team of the week last week or didn't, you know, don't have a gauntlet card or, or those sorts of things. So not all the players I want to get are going to be on the list. Like, Terrell Suggs had a great game. Uh, definitely helped the Ravens shut out the Bengals, but just couldn't put him on the list because he already has a gauntlet player. So, my list is going to be a little bit different than what you might expect, uh, but I think a lot of the, the guys I have on the list are going to uh, be who you predict as well. All right, and I also tried to predict guys who only their team won. So, it's going to be a little bit different, uh, but it should be pretty fun. All right, so I'm going to do this in just a random order. Um, I think the Cowboys tight end Jason Witten is probably going to get a new card. I don't think he has a very good. I think he might have like a low tier um, elite, maybe a high tier gold. Um, but I think he possibly could get a card this week. Then also one I think could possibly be one of the higher elite cards uh, for Team of the Week is Tremaine Johnson for the Rams. Had an, an insane pick six, I think, to start off the game. So... Definitely uh, deserve something there. Next up, we got the Bills tight end Charles Clay. We already got two tight ends in there. Maybe I'll throw the next one in there. Yeah, he had a solid game uh, getting the Bills to the first win of the season and uh, pushing them to number one in the division over the Patriots. Wow, that's so crazy. They're always the, the division leaders. But uh, the Bills are leading it right now thanks to uh, help from Charles Clay. Next, I have two guys from the Jaguars, and I, I'm pretty sure... The, you could give anybody, I have three guys from actually from, from the Jaguars. I'm pretty sure you could put any of the defensive linemen, outside linebackers, um, and, and they would uh, they, they would be a fine team of the week card. Like, I think it was like three or four of them had one or two sacks. It was insane how many sacks um, the Jaguars got. And uh, Calais Campbell had four sacks that's freaking crazy that's double what anyone else has already this season so definitely an awesome defensive lineman and definitely could get an upgrade possible investment uh if you want to buy his core elite i'm pretty sure he has an upgrade set just saying just saying i didn't i didn't tell you to do that but you know it's possible next we got miles jack uh definitely had a very solid game as well had a lot of tackles uh, i think he had two sacks as well so pretty good um, and then on the offensive side for the Jaguars, Leonard Fournette. We need a uh, rookie premier, Leonard Fournette upgrade. Solid card already, and uh, he had a solid game, 100 rushing yards and a touchdown. Definitely give this man a new card. Next on offense, I think we have one of the possible offensive 
master cards quarterback for the Lions Matthew Stafford had four touchdowns through one interception uh, but definitely had a solid game I definitely could see him um, getting an upgrade and possibly even the master card. He helped me out in fantasy so much. He scored like 36 points. It was freaking great. Um, and then on the lines, we also have free safety, or I, I think he's a free safety in Ultimate Team. But Glover Quinn, he had an interception, had a forced fumble. I'm pretty sure he is getting an upgrade. Just don't know whether it's going to be the master or, you know, one of the higher overall ones. Next, I got the Kansas City Chiefs had two solid, solid guys that... One of them should, you know, I think Alex Smith, I'm going to just say it. Alex Smith should be the master. I just don't know if they're going to do two quarterbacks in back-to-back in -back weeks be the master. Like, he should be. Four touchdowns, 300, over 350 yards. Definitely should be, should be the master. I think he even had some rushing yards in there. So, pretty awesome for him. Great week. And he's a solid ultimate team quarterback, to be honest with you. He's got... Good accuracy stats, a little bit of speed to scramble out the pocket every now and then. Definitely uh, solid there. And then Kareem Hunt, rookie performance, rookie debut. He had three touchdowns. He did fumble on his first carry, but uh, definitely, you know, everything after that was an amazing game. Then we're moving on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't mean to, like, do this by team, but, you know, it just, just so happened to be like that. Outside linebacker. T.J. Watt. He had two sacks. Definitely helped the Steelers win the game. Definitely hope he gets an upgrade for those rookie premier guys that did him. Uh, and then Jesse James on the offense had two touchdowns. Definitely deserves a Team of the Week upgrade. Don't know if it'll happen, but I would love to see that happen. Then I had to end it off with my Philadelphia Eagles. We've got two guys. One of them deserves a MasterCard. That's all I'm saying. He deserves a MasterCard. The other one, Wide receiver Nelson Aguilar had like 86 yards and a touchdown. Had a great game. Getting his confidence boosted up. Helped us beat the, the Redskins, the Deadskins. <laughs> but uh, definitely deserves an upgrade. And then last but not least, we've got the big boy, 91 defensive tackle Fletcher Cox. In my opinion, should be the master card. It should be a 90 overall. Um, he had a touchdown. He had a sack. He had a forced fumble, and he had a fumble recovery. So, pretty much everything you can do in one game, he did it. Except for the interception. He, he could have intercepted the ball. But, but, but he deserves the MasterCard, in my opinion. Who do you guys think deserve the MasterCard for the offense and for the defense? Again, I'm curious to see who you guys pick uh, for Team of the Week. Is there somebody I really left off? I know there probably is. Uh, I know there was a ton of guys on the Ravens, um, especially that defensive line, who had really good games. Uh, but I really think we're going to get a Ravens offensive lineman, the rushing behind like Terrence West. He had like Terrence West had like 80 yards and a touchdown. So the rushing game was on fleek right there. So definitely deserve an upgrade for offensive linemen. Somewhere I just couldn't pick who to go with there. Um, but definitely a lot of guys to choose from. Who, who did I miss? I'm really curious to see. Hope you guys did enjoy and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Got him.